here. We're here. We're here. We got Mullins. We got Malin. We got Alpha Sports Gaming uh, and K Rated Gaming, of course. So, boys, my boys. She looks like a piggy. We'll get to that. <laughs> uh, it is <laughs> February 16th, 2017. Um, wow. It's one of those impacts where there's a lot of stuff which you don't care for, and then there's stuff where it's like, that saved impact for me. Um, and I'm going to say, Hardy's Expedition for Gold actually wasn't like a high, too much of a highlight, I'll say. Um, they could have done so much more with it. So let me go to the bottom stuff. Well, I feel like there's not really too much they could get away with in CMLL uh, compared to, it looks like they're going to some hopefully hillbilly deluxe <coughs> town next week but we'll talk about oh that. Um, yeah so here's all the uh average stuff of impact uh jesse goddard's got to beat kingston because why not because um, why put kingston in a singles match and why have kingston go over when he doesn't win anything uh, and Goddard's has been beating a lot of random people, but whatever. He's got your number. But uh, Moose and Mini Moose, that's her name. I hate that. Brainy Rose. I'm to hate that. They beat uh, Crazy Steve yeah. and Rosemary. Let's just say Crazy Steve. <laughs> Look, Crazy Steve was put in the match, not Abyss. So that kind of just correlated there with what was going to happen in the beginning of the show. Um, we had a replay of last week. Where, uh, or, yeah, last week or a couple weeks ago, where DCC demolished, or no, I believe it was last week, yeah, because we had the little claw dance, the Funkadactyl thing, dance, yeah. Funkasaurus dance, yeah. Um, the Pterodactyl. The Pterodactyl. I, I, I thought I said Funkasaurus. Um, no, you said, you said Funkadactyl, and then you yeah, said yeah, Funkasaurus. No. Um, so, Brodus Clay. Yeah, uh, so we showed the, the Tyrus thing where eli drake ran off we had a fact of life tyrus was the host of it eli drake got angry yeah. they're gonna fight each other basically eli drake faked an arm injury so uh that actually wasn't that crazy a part of the show um and that pretty much does it no x division tonight really sad about that because the andrew Everett, many moves. we already talked about that the many moose thing they had a backstage segment too but um it was cringy it was very cringy um, we had yeah. the do 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 no doo. no grand championship uh, no grand championship and no X division. I'm more bummed out about the X division because they're doing something and hopefully that will be good with uh, Shane Helms, Trevor Lee, and Andrew Everett. So I also realized no Aaron Rex. Yeah, no Aaron Rex, uh, Liberace, uh, Aaron Rex, and no Spud, uh, no Hornswoggle, none of that. Uh, the episode was very based around three, these three things, which I will uh, speak about them in matter of importance to moi, I guess you could say. Uh, starting off, we got um, Hardy's, which I will say wasn't the greatest thing about the show. They went to CMLL. Conan was there. Conan wanted to, you know, pull the Oral Hebner you know, rib on selling stuff out the back of his van, making extra money. Yeah. Hardy's there, stuff like that. Um, Hardy's beat uh, the Mexicals to get the titles, and Vanguard 1 is still uh, a drunk. He took the tequila and left. So they're going to um, <laughs> Mid-Atlantic <laughs> Wrestling, I believe, yeah, next I week. <laughs> and you can't make this up. They're going to Mid-Atlantic <laughs> Wrestling next week. And... Um, <laughs> Yeah, some tag team has been championed for 12 years, and they're going to put a stop to that. I don't know what in the world people were on when they have that long of a title reign um, in this generation. But, yep, I can't wait for the Hardys to take the belts. So, that's pretty much that. Um, yeah. Next up, I'm going to say Davey and Eddie. Uh, cause I really like the, the Bennett, uh, Sutter, um, Maria, uh, Laurel, Sienna thing also, um, which I feel like should be the main event of next week. The wedding should be the main event of next week. Oh, I forgot about something. Uh, there's actually two mini segments in there or not too many. Yeah. One mini segment, one mini match. Um, I believe Sienna, I think, or Laurel Van Ness, one of them 
took on, um, what's her name? She just came back. That's, that's really sad. Um, Brooke, Brooke. Thank you. Brooke Tess Tessmacher. Um, so that happened. Really forgettable, actually. Um, and something that actually is also really forgettable, but it kind of is big, um, depending on who you are, I guess. I don't know. I watch a lot of UFC and MMA -ish stuff, but I still wouldn't say this was that big, in my opinion, uh, especially given the lineage with TNA and how MMA stuff usually ends out. Um, Josh Barnett showed up, said, hey, uh, Josh Barnett sounded like Billy Corgan, so there's this ongoing joke that Barnett is the reincarnation of Billy Corgan, Uncle Billy, so... Uncle Billy, as a MMA fighter, as Josh, Josh Barnett, basically was like, hey, Lashley, you're not a champion that you need to be. I don't know where that comes from, because if you ask me, Lashley's the most legitimate one on the roster. I don't know how you could be any more legitimate than him. I don't know how you could... I don't know. I don't know. Basically, Barnett and uh, Lashley are going to fight each other next week for the belt. Yeah. Please don't be the main event. Please let the wedding be the main event. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> no, do not let the wedding be I the main event. I feel like the wedding has to. The, the, the wedding, wedding is the greatest to, thing left. I feel like the wedding has to, though, because you can't put the Hardys on last because yeah, they're not even at the show. Weddings always go on last. Unless it's that one wedding. But um, not, the, not the Billy and Chuck one, but the, the AJ Lee one. Um, yeah. All right. Let's talk about uh, do 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 do. Davy and Eddie had their thing. Um, they had a pretty good street fight, I will say, in the main event. Um, all you gotta know is that Eddie chopped the heck out of the side of the ring post. It might have <laughs> broke his hand. It was, it it was great. Been... Chopped the heck out of it, and then Davy was like, I guess he kind of walked up to him, and was like, "Hey, you okay, dude? I don't like." Like, we're kind of trying to keep kayfabe, but, uh, you okay? <laughs> he legitly slapped the heck out of that ring post, but, um... Yeah, and it, it, it sounded bad, too. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, Eddie continued to sell it, and then eventually Eddie, uh, got the crap beat out of him by Eddie, uh, or not, Eddie got beat, Eddie got the crap beat out of him by Davey, and Angelia Love came down, then Alicia, Alicia, I can't remember her name, sadly, um, she's, she's the, uh, wife of Eddie Edwards, um, but I don't think that's actually her name. I think that's like her TNA name. She has a different indie name. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. They haven't trusted it too much, so it's not of crazy importance yet. It's still about Eddie and Davey. Angelina Love's still just there because Alicia has someone to fight, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Eddie gets, uh, uh, Eddie gets to witness, um, Alicia get tied up or handcuffed to the ropes. He takes a bunch of chair shots for her. Then they pay, place a chair next to his head. They make her watch him get his head slammed in. Uh, that's how we ended the show. Freaking fantastic. All right. Great. But I wouldn't say that was the greatest part of the show, but I'll say the Davy and Eddie thing saved me this week. Last week, I was like, all right, this is too predictable. We got to like really up the ante. This week, we up the ante. Good job, TNA. Uh, now for the main thing that kept me watching throughout the show was the ridiculousness <laughs> of the uh, bachelorette and bachelor party. The bachelorette party was basically Allie thought she was getting married. Ha ha, you ain't. Laurel Van Ness, everybody was bitter about that, but that wasn't that exciting. Uh, but the bachelor party with Mike Bennett and Braxton Sutter was crazy. They had an old guy say he was 28. We had a fat guy take off his, uh, or, you know, like roll his shirt up and like slap his stomach and like do a splash on a guy on the couch that was vaping. <laughs> we got, like, a stripper named Roxanne, who I guess, well, stripper, prostitute, whatever. Um, she was there. In the end, she actually slept with Mike Bennett, and then Braxton Sutter played rib on Bennett and had a picture sent to Maria, and then Maria on the phone yelling at Bennett with Roxanne. I hope we get more Roxanne. By God, that was great. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That saved TNA. Um, or, no, it didn't save TNA. But it just, I think it really, I think it saved this wedding thing. You know what I mean? Because there was a point where it was like, why are they still stretching this? Because Maria kind of had her big match. You know what I mean? Like, she was like, I can wrestle. 
yeah. Um, and then there was like a part where it kind of seemed like she was done with Maria. Now that they rekindled the feud, it was kind of weird. Now that they had the wedding thing, it was kind of weird. But it's good to see that everything is aligned for next week. I think next week will be a big week, in my opinion, between Hardy's going to Hillbilly Next Deluxe. week's going to have a very um, pay-per-view feel to the episode. Yeah, Barnett and Lashley for the titles. Please give me X Division. Um, I thought there was going to be a... A little Grand Impact thing, or not Grand Impact, uh, an Aaron Rex thing. I thought we were going to get more of that. I guess not. Uh, Maybe more Moose and many Moose. Galloway is champ, and I'm going to say, even though Drew Galloway is Grand Impact champ, I just don't feel it. I don't feel it. I don't know why. I feel like Moose That title just, I, I, it lost its appeal. Like, it was cool at first, and then it lost its appeal. Yeah, I guess you just have to really stress it. Um, you know what I mean? Uh Hopefully, Death Count Council doesn't feud with Jesse Godders. So, other than that, what do you guys think? I talked long enough. It was a pretty decent show, I would say. I honestly, I hated it because it, just, <laughs> it felt like there was so much filler this week. Yeah. But like Mullen said, next week should be a really good one because mm-hmm. it really I, – I'm going to hate saying this right now. It can't get any lower than it did this week. Oh, my. We've had worse weeks, I feel like. Uh, yeah, there's been worse it. weeks than this. This was a very, like, get you ready. Like This was almost like next week's pre-show. There was a couple – it was like – low and then high and then low and like then it, it high. got you ready it, it got you ready for next week rather than like worry about this week mm-hmm. they really were just hyping up next week as like being a big thing uh please don't put the title on josh barnett please oh, don't Lord. that, that After would that be the performance that, tonight that would be like he's he doesn't have any kind of presence to him like it's just like okay he looked like a regular old guy that came out there and was like oh yeah i just don't think he had enough for I don't think he had enough emphasis and power behind him. I think that's the main problem. I feel like... I just feel like they, they hyped his name up as being something gigantic when, honestly, if and if you're not a like a big-time fan, uh, if you're only a casual fan of MMA, you probably don't know who Josh Barnett is. Well, he did do some stuff in wrestling, but like you're still trying to appeal to the I'm an indie wrestling mark who only watches Japanese wrestling. You know what I mean? Because, like, yeah. um, you know, he did the whole commentary thing with uh, Jim Ross, I believe, on Access Television. So, um, but, uh, Mullins, what are you giving Impact tonight? Tell, um, me, tell me about that for me. She still looks like a pig with a pig. Go, uh, <laughs> let's give it a solid six. Oh, yeah, she's going to be the ring bearer. Yeah. Six. Uh, Malin, what are you thinking? Before I give my rate, I'm glad you mentioned that. I will bet money that to- next week she comes dressed as a bear. Oh, that'd be. Would that be too much, though? TNA would do it. <laughs> you know, TNA would do it. Yeah. But. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a five. Five? I, I was really debating that in my mind. I was like, wow, it's very five ish. I, I'm going to have to meet in the middle, though. Because I, I feel like, eh, let's give it a 5.5, maybe a 5.25. I feel like it was a little bit better than average, but not anything to, like, start bragging about, you know what I mean? Like, there's still going to be that, you know, one or two uh, pivotal moments, I feel like. And sad is to say, that Josh Rock. Burnett <laughs> moment, that Josh Burnett moment will not be a pivotal moment, I feel like. I feel like <laughs> no, it'll be Rock forgettable. Will be. <laughs> it'll be forgettable, like, um... The other two MMA guys we had, who I can't even remember at the moment. King, uh, um, King Mo, no, not King Mo. Um, I think um, T- Tito Ortiz. Tito Ortiz and, and there's, Rampage. Um, Rampage Jackson. Thank you. Yes. Uh, but they were just very forgettable. I feel like that was the the big problem. Um, so Roxanne was the highlight of my week. <laughs> Roxanne. <laughs> Next and Roxanne time, we trust on Impact Wrestling.